is back at another video for you guys today. So we're gonna check out the official US trailer for this movie called Detention. Okay, starring Jingle Wang or Wang, I should say, and Fu Ming Po. And seeing the title and the thumbnail, right, it just brings me back to the episode of SpongeBob when he was sent to detention by Mrs. Puff. Trying to be all scary. I sentence you to detention. <laughs> detention! May Neptune have mercy on your soul. Spooky at a time, but I'm good now. Let's check it on out, shall we? In about a three. They said this was based on true events, by the way. It got a little backstory to it. Let's let's read it, y'all. Let's read because I don't know what the hell's going on. Ah, oh, all right. In 1962, Taiwan, during the time of the White Terror, martial law martial law is in full force across the country. In a time of extreme repression, all ideas considered to be dissident are banned, and the culprits are tortured and executed. Oh my damn. Tishua secondary school is not an exception from this oppression. Despite close surveillance by the military police, Professor Chang, which is Fu Ming Po, runs an underground literary club where he and his students learn about banned books and dream of freedom. One of his club members, Fang, is madly in love with him. The usually shy teenage girl from an abusive home manages to open up like a book in his presence, okay? But then Chang disappears. One night, Fane wakes up at her desk. The school around her changed and distorted as she wanders through the sinister corridors and dilapidated rooms in search of her teacher. She meets Wei. Wei Chang from Sleeping Dogs? I'm just playing. Uh, together, they must confront the ghosts and monsters that have taken over their alma mater or made her in order to find out what has happened there. Oh my damn. The tension arrives in U.S. theaters and VOD on October 8th, 2021. That's in seven days. Is this grudge related? Wait, 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 wait. Was that the grudge? Was that the ring? Somebody gonna die in seven days. One of them two. I forgot. It's been a long time. I think it was the Yeah, it was the ring. Because the girl, you know. But this seems like a pretty interesting film. I would like to check it out. I, I really would. Like this. It's a bit disturbing, like, you know, martial law, you know, that's a whole nother conversation. Speaking of, do you know back in the day, and mind you, when this, when those commercials came out, I didn't know what the hell was going on. I didn't even see it back at that time. But I believe on MTV or VH1, one of those channels, I believe, they had a martial law commercial. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Because somebody sent me that link. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? I mean, they had a more newer one a more recent, current timed uh, martial law commercial from like a couple of years ago. And I didn't know what was going on. Like the woman, she was just sitting in her house and like they would make some type of announcement on her TV. And I'm like, what does this mean? But anyway, uh, from the older one, like you literally had all these like SWAT men, damn near, I guess, you know, or the National Guard coming into people's houses and taking them from their homes and stashing them in these pickup trucks and shit and taking them Lord knows where. You know, this is a scary fucking world we live in. You know that? Like, just, because mm -hmm. you know how they were trying to bring out the National Guard, you know, when, when there have been protests here in the U.S. and, 
you know, the whole thing with the pandemic and things as such. Just imagine that. Imagine me. Like, for real. Like, I remember I was on my way home. And out of the damn blue, like, driving on, like, a regular ass street, like, going towards the mall, like, going that way. I'm going this way. They're going this way. There was, like, a military truck, I believe, and then there was, like, a tank. Either a tank or a big ass like Jeep or some shit that you would probably just see in the military somewhere. And to myself, I had to do a double take. I'm like, you know, what the hell? Somebody, I'm like, what is this shit? You know what I'm saying? Like this, this is this is odd. This is not something does not belong in the picture. Something in the milk ain't clean. Like, what the hell is this big ass military truck and tank during? doing riding around like the mall and shit like i'm confused i am confusion you know that definitely made me think of ml it's a scary world people but i still have hope i do i'm not knowing not i know i know i'm not the only one but nonetheless this movie does look interesting and i'm gonna go check it out when it comes out so with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, comment below. Have any of you all watching ever had like a personal experience with seeing martial law? Um, or what do you know about it, you know, for the most part? Well, like if you live here, in another country, whatever, just let me know. Because I remember there were pictures in Chicago, right? And they had like, um, I believe like big ass military trucks and shit, just like outside of people's neighborhoods and shit. Like telling them to go back in the house and I'm like, what is this? Like I'm from Chicago. I'm not there now, but thank God I wasn't because I probably would have been terrified to see that shit outside of my damn house, okay? But yeah, you guys let me know if you had like a personal experience like seeing seeing that type of scene, like a martial law type of feel to it. What do you guys know about it? How does it work? Will it ever happen? I I don't know, because at this point I and don't forget guys to send me some requests of some scary videos we could all watch together for the month of October slash Halloween. And uh, come follow me on my Instagram, hit that notification bell, boop, so you guys know the video uploaded. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Frame, I'm out and happy Friday. See you on the next one. Hi.